Hello everyone, today as you can see we'll be learning all about the fresh SMP. Um as you can see here like any other server, um the first thing you might want to do is vote. You just do slash vote and it will appear here. You click on it and you click on the link here and you just go through this link. As you can see I I've already voted, so I don't need to do that again. And after that, once you voted, uh, you will get vote keys. And if you just right click this, you should get any one of these stuff. Like you can get money, you can get some ore, you can get some obsidian pearls, some armor. And then after that, you can do daily rewards, which is uh, right over here. You can just right click or like right click on it. and. It as you can see I have already did it so I need to wait another hour and 18 minutes and as you can see here if you want to join a team as you can see on the right hand side you just do slash team join and you need to get an invitation to join it or permission and then as you can see here there's also a balance and the balance is basically money one way to do that is, um, as you can see, I have some stuff here. You just hold the item you want to sell. You do slash R sell. Then you do the amount. For example, if I just do 100. And if I go to slash R, which is basically auction house. You can see here, I have sold this for $100. You just left click it to remove it. And you press remove. And it'll go to the expired items here. And... You can also customize the amount. You can sell um, dirt for like $1 million, which I don't know why you would do that. No one was going to buy it. And another way to get money if you don't have anything to sell is quests, which is right here. You just click it and it will show you all the quests like this. You can get money for that. You can get like money for all of these. You can get money for like all of this and for some of the impossible quests like this um you can actually get a lot more money as you can see and also once you do all the voting and the daily rewards and you can start a few quests also you can just type slash quest here and instead of clicking on the auction house, you can just do slash R. And then once you're ready, you can just hop into the portal right there. And it will take you to the wild. As you can see here, and then you might want to chop some wood. And get some cobblestone, mine some ores. And it's, you can also tap, type slash wild. And there's a cooldown to it. And it's a pretty good server, so um consider to join the code is at the top play.freshsmp.fun at the top right corner and oh there's a creeper here with it and once you get ores and stuff you can make armor out of it and you can also just sell the ores and be sure not to like sell it for too much so no one would buy it buy it and if you sell it for too cheap and um it's not going to be worth it and on the server you can actually claim land as you can see here so if i try to break this it'll say you don't have stone or fires permission to um build here and also um i can claim land also, all you need to do is type slash claim and as you can see here this is this is not actual glowstone or gold this is just not real and this is like the land i have claimed so no one else if i put this here no one else can break it and no one else can place blocks here or break blocks so that is considered if you want to prevent griefing <coughs> And if you want to unclaim it, you, you just type un slash unclaim. 
and if you want to trust other players you can type slash trust and they will have access to your land you can also type slash untrust if you don't trust them anymore and that basically makes up how it works and also on the players um also on the shops you can type slash shop and it will take you here just so you know you can not actually buy the spawners it doesn't work um there's redstone here as you can see these cost money this combat just so you know diamond gear would um actually cost not as much as you think as you can see here they're not really expensive um but diamonds on the other hand cost like if i remember correctly um just over one thousand dollars um so instead of buying diamonds on the server when you get money um you should consider buying the um tools or gear itself and you can there's also some tricks to selling for example i can go to slash shop and for example i can just buy this i can just buy this and i'll have this and i can just type slash r sell 300 so then you will actually make a profit of 75 but then i don't know why you would do that because players would rather buy from the shop so there's actually other ways um to get profit which i will show you in my next videos and that basically makes up how it works also there's um i forgot to show you if you go to spawn um there's actually other crates so this crates over here as you as i've shown you this is the vote crate you can get stuff from voting this is a 20 hour cooldown and this it, um it actually costs like um actual money not in-game money and then um you can get any one of this there's also this crate and this crate and there uh, used to be the spooky crate here but since um halloween is over they removed it <coughs> and there's also kits here there's the MVP kits, so you can buy it. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, I don't have a rank or kit, so then I don't have any of this. <coughs> and be sure it all costs game money. This is ranks, so if you get god rank, um, <coughs> as you can see, <coughs> it will show you. Um, if you get extra two thousand gems, four thousand blocks to claim, which is quite good. You get access to 10 slash homes, um, 30 R listings, which is considerable because normal people can only sell 3 items. Access to 16 slash team members, access to exclusive plus cl club, and access to um, slash ender chest and infinite flight, which is pretty cool. Ultra, um, there's just this, you can look at it yourself. There's legend, there's MVP and there's vip and there's also in-game armor for example um like there's vip armor it's maxed out armor with level 3 enchantments and if you're wondering what the clubhouse is um it's just that little house there at spawn so exclusive clubhouse you need to purchase a rank here to enter and you can't get a rank without actual game money and as you can see here, I cannot get in because I did not purchase a rank. But there is actually a way to glitch into the house. Um, so basically, if you just hold right click on any stairs or carpet, as you can see here. And I, d I can sit on this if I just right click. <coughs> and then if I move, I just get <coughs> teleported out of the house. So I can just glitch in like this, but if I move, I just get TP'd back to the house. Um, just to be warned, if you use this glitch for too long, you can actually get kicked out. So you'll have to rejoin back in because um, it'll say something about a firewall. So yeah, it's a pretty cool house. And just make sure not to stay in there for too long to glitch in or you might get um, kicked.
and there's also server rules so some server rules are like um you can't like kill players like be sure you don't kill players when they um have pvp off um unless you're just pvping for fun there's um also um a bunch of these npcs and uh, as you can see here there's help and those are the kits and there's also server rules which um we tell you the rules and <coughs> As the, as um I already I've already told you, um, you can not kill players without their permission. Um, <coughs> when they have their PVP turned off, so you just type slash PVP, and it'll say my PVP is enabled, and I type slash PVP, and it will disable it. And then, <coughs> um, another rule is no TPA trapping. So normally when you TPA, um, the, a player will spawn in front of you. So if you TP them into a hole, and if you claim the land, they cannot break through it. So, and then by that, um, you can kill them with lava, um, which will not drop their stuff. You can kill them with dripstone, <coughs> which they will lose their stuff. And also you can kill them with a puffer fish, which is not recommended because um, it is bannable. Another rule is that um no using x-ray i mean if you want to use x-ray go ahead but um <coughs> it's not wise and it's um you could get banned if you get caught and also <coughs> no scamming so if you um if you say hey um i'll trade you a diamond pick for a diamond sword and he drops you the diamond sword and you don't give him the diamond pick um, if an admin or helper or mod finds that out, um, they c you can actually get banned for that. And on top of getting banned for a few days or maybe a few weeks or a few months, depending how serious it is, <coughs> you also get your inventory cleared. So if you have any gear, um, it will also be cleared. <coughs> and